नमस्कार इट इज ट्रूली हार्टनिंग टू हियर दैट बीजापुर हारमोनियम फाउंडेशन इज कंप्लीटिंग ट्वेंटी ईयर्स एंड इट्स ट्रूली माई ऑनर दैट डॉक्टर रविंद्र कातोटी हैज रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू कम एंड शेयर सम ऑफ माई थॉट्स ऑन दिस ओकेजन माई एसोसिएशन विथ बीजापुर मास्तर एंड द बीजापुर शिष्य परंपरा as well as the work of the bijapur harmonium foundation has been long i think first i met bijapur master was in 1998 or 1999 since then every time i was in belgaum i had the chance of seeking his blessings playing in front of him through the years with bijapur harmonium foundation i closely observed all of the grand work that the foundation has been doing and had the chance to also participate in several ways uh, attend the first world harmonium summit and so as i think about these last 20 years and more i have a lot of emotion welling up in me pandit rambau bijapure was such a saintly person i could go on and on about how he was so inviting so inspiring how my guru pandit tulsidas borkar and rambhau had such a deep respect and love for each other i could also go on and on about the grand work that bijapur master has inspired and through all of the leaders and volunteers and committee members of bijapur harmonium foundation the impact that this foundation has had not just on the harmonium but on the community of all of us artists who work together and on music in general perhaps the next global harmonium summit we can have a session on reminiscences where we can exchange these sweet and wonderful memories that are so inspiring to all of us i will just share two small things with you every time i used to go and meet with uh, pandit rambhau bijapur of course i used to play a little bit for him but every single time you know even if it was just me in the room or if there were others upon requesting he always used to also play something which was such a such a sweet gesture full of love and i remember after one such meeting i had been so touched by what just seemed to be magic in his fingers that the music seemed to be so simple and yet it came out with such bhakti with such divinity with such impact it drew you in there was no way i could analyze what was happening and i remember a couple days later when i was back in mumbai and with my guruji borkar guruji i told him that there is some jadu in bijapur master sahibs and he immediately nodded he acknowledged yes kelela so is somebody who has done decades and decades of sadhana and just that genuine acknowledgement uh, was just such a uh, i felt that my experience of the magic experience of divinity that i i had that that had touched me that it had also touched my guruji pandit tulsidas borkar inspired by bijapur master the bijapur harmonium foundation has done such tremendous work as i said and there are many organizations that do a lot of good work 
and for every organization to succeed you need dedication to a big cause great cause you need hard work you need discipline you need the ability to create a team and lead a team but when it comes to bijapur harmonium foundation i think that there are two values that make this foundation really special and those to me are the inclusivity and child like wonder and inquisitiveness i believe that every single harmonium player who came to belgaum over the when bijapur master was with us in flesh and blood went to his house to seek his blessings and he was open and inviting to everybody and you can see this inclusivity in the work of the bijapur harmonium foundation over the years every single gharana or tradition of harmonium players has come and played at harmonium hampa or world harmonium summit not just every single style of hindustani music but ghazal karnataka music uh, collaborations with different instruments jugal bandis and then special projects like journey in harmony or the shatakantha gayan in the world harmonium summit or the shata samvadini vadan which i had the privilege also to participate in this inclusivity makes this organization so special and the second is what i will call the child like wonder i still remember observing that wonder in 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 vijapuri masters eyes when we were interacting when somebody played something or even when he played something sometimes this gleam of you know child like wonder on the divinity of the creation of music i could see it in his eyes and i see the same wonder being reflected in the activities of bijapur harmonium foundation if you look at the agendas of the summits and meetings uh, conferences that have been organized you know the foundation has brought together performers accom- uh, soloists accompanists from different gharanas like i said academicians instrument makers manufacturers like cradle with discussions on the uh, on a myriad of different issues uh, on the performance of the harmonium on sound engineering or instrument making on the next generation of what electronics could bring to the instrument on the microtonal tuning on how western classical composition can influence creation of orchestral music on the harmonium on such diverse topics with a view to how this instrument could take shape and have an even more beautiful impact on the world in the years and decades to come i am deeply grateful to the foundation to dr ravindra kathoti not just for allowing me to speak here but for all of the work that the foundation has been doing to the cause of popularizing the harmonium and i am sure that this emotion of gratitude is felt not just by me but all of my other fellow harmonium players and it will be felt in the years and decades to come by all of our students who continue to work on this instrument that we love so much and i wish the bijapur harmonium foundation an unending period of continued contributions 
that's just the beginning let that contribution and the beauty of music come in from that contribution continue to grow tenfold from 20 to 200 years from 200 to 2000 years